Adventure. Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Once again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. You sound happy, Mr. Calvert. Oh, I am, I am. Russ Calvert's got a feeling about this evening. Yeah, that happens to people in Havana almost every night. <laughs> Doesn't it, though, Mr. Shannon? You know, when it came over me, right after I took my shower while I was getting into my white linen, I said to myself, Russ, out there, right out there through that window, it's waiting for you. That's what I said to Russ. You two must be very happy together. <laughs> Why not? I like you, Miss Duval. I like Mr. Shannon. I like your hotel. And ah, tonight I've got this feeling that Havana's going to like me. You hear that, sailor? We're liked. It makes me glow from the top of my head to my tippy toe. Yeah, I can do that to people. Why, I can make pardon, people... Pardon, but I look for a young lady by the name of Gail Duval. You need a pardon to do that? I was merely being polite. The young man here was talking, but the urgency of the occasion demanded... I'm Gail Duval, and you've just marked me urgent. So what can I do for you, Mr... Uh, Mr. Cloakey, Ralph Cloakey. And it's not what you can do for me, it's what I'm going to do for you. On behalf of my client, Mr. Cheever... Hey, sailor, it's all for Mr. Cheever. For who? Mr. Cheever, who owns the grandest hotel in Guantanamo. Uh, Mr. Cheever, who is expanding operations to Havana. Here, uh, in my briefcase. Slate, that's money. It's staring at me. Real live money. Scads of it. This little packet, 5,000. And another, 10. And another, 15. It keeps going till we reach 25,000. That's the price for your hotel and the boat. What? Certainly. Mr. Cheever told me the whole story. <laughs> Not that I wish to embarrass the young lady. Oh, go ahead. Embarrass me. What did this rake Cheever say about me? He said you and Mr. Shannon were in a, um, a, a jam. You had to get out of Cuba lickety-split. Uh, that's why Mr. Cheever sent me here to Havana to look over the property. I have looked, Miss Duval. I agree it's a bargain. So help me. I don't know what this is all about. Now look, Buster... Take your money and go back to Mr. Cheever and tell him no sale. You heard me. Uh, don't Out. you dare. No, no, don't you dare touch me. I'm going to give you time to reconsider, even if you don't deserve it. I'll be at my rooming house, the Reina Verde, on Vincenti Street, turning us down after you came down to Guantanamo and arranged it all. Loki? I I'm going. I I'm going. People's values are all shot. That's what they are. You can't count on anything anymore. You just can't. Don't look at me like that, Slate. I tell you, he's crazy. <laughs> you enjoying yourself, Mr. Cal? <laughs> oh, this is what I love about Havana. It's so full of fun, so full of characters. Get into my office, sailor. We got things to talk about. Oh, good night, fellas. Russ, Russ, over here in the car. Where'd he go? In that cab, just a hand. Hurry. For twenty-five thousand dollars, we can keep him company. Can we, Jimmy? For as long as he lives. Such a little man. His life's all used up. You know, it's in shivers through me. Put your arms around me, Russ. Cab pulled over, Russ. Uh-huh. We too. Hey, look where he's going, Jean. Huh. How about that? All that money and he picks a flea bag. Come on, let's go. How do you feel? Hmm? Are you scared? Oh, you mean using the name Gail Duval in Guantanamo? Right, that selling the hotel and the boat to that hotel guy, Chiva. Not much. I had the identification. 
No, a girl can get a driver's license when she gives a big red smile to the man who issues them. <laughs> Two talents, yours and mine. Come on, let's visit the flea bag. Mm. Un momento, por favor. Uh, si. Sí. A uh, man live here named Mr. Cloakie. Oh, Senor Cloakie. Ah, si, sí, to room number three. Right down the corridor. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Oh, Senor, five dollars. Oh, you are too kind. For what purpose? For being a nice landlady. We'll show you some more of those dollars later. Oh, I will like that. For whatever purpose. I know how to cooperate. Eh? You will see. Mr. Cloakie. Hello, Mr. Cloakie. Uh, who are you? Inside. I said in. I asked you a pertinent question. Yeah, yeah, you did. And I said in. That's better. Close the door, Jean. Uh-huh. Oh, he seems like a nice little man, Russ. It's too bad about the nice little man. You, you people are maniacs. Put away that knife. Put it away. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. Little men die gently, don't they? Get his briefcase, Jean. Mm-hmm. Now let's go talk to the landlady. She likes money. She knows how to cooperate. Let's see if she can memorize a story. You're a man of the world, King. Explain some things to me. You mean Lady Sailor, Mr. Slade? Yeah. What's the matter with her? She knows she doesn't own any part of this hotel. Of course she knows. Well, then what's all this about? <laughs> Why you give yourself pain, Mr. Slade? You know Lady Sailor never do anything to hurt you. She never been in Guantanamo. Yeah, that's so. I mean, someone else was there, palmed herself off as Sailor, told them she... You there! You... Take this bouquet, exquisite flowers to room of Senorita Gail Duval and announce to her that her beloved is below. Huh? Ricardo Malpin, desirable dealer in carnival supplies and dedicated to the proposition that when a senorita says she will marry me, I expect no dilly-dally. My card. Hey, where's it printed about the dilly-dally? Doesn't need. It's known about Ricardo Malpin. All over Guantanamo it's known. Please, senor. Run to Senorita Duval. Do not drop flowers. Tell her to put on bridal veil. Her beloved simmers. I noticed. You proposed to her in Guantanamo? She proposed to me. Proposal as follows. Ricardo, I love you. Ricardo, marry me. Ricardo, give me a thousand dollars to buy Chuso in Havana. Then I return to your arms for centuries. In two days, has been weak, where's her room? I delight for myself. That way, Ricardo. But that way, senor, to street, to where I come from. That's right. You do not comprehend a future bridegroom, senor. You cannot deprive his bride of him, especially when he is waiting... Maybe not, but I'm going to try... <laughs> Pardon me, Ricardo. Put me down, senor. Put me down, I demand. You are very strong, senor. Back to Guantanamo, Ricardo. Here. Don't forget your flowers. But she will suffer so if she both not... Hey, for a girl who's never been to Guantanamo, sailor sure gets around. King. Yes, Mr. Sleep. If anyone asks for me, tell them I'm trying to find out who wants to buy my hotel. Anybody here? Hey, who takes care of this place? Si, si, your... Uh, you wish accommodation, eh? I wish a Mr. Cloakie. Oh, Senor Cloakie has so many colors. A little ago, a young lady. Oh, muy linda, very beautiful. If I'm honest, I will take you to him, to his room. What muy linda? Very beautiful lady? A lady who made argument with him. A lady he called uh, Sailor Duval. What? Hey, this is his room, senor. Yeah. Clocky. Senor. Ah. Hey, the senor has a knife in his heart. Okay. Oh, permit me, senor. It's not a knife. It, it, it looks the instrument to open the letters. Yeah. It's a letter opener. From my hotel with Shannon's place stamped on the handle. Madre de Dios. Oh, that girl, so pretty. She did not look so... 
She killed him, that sailor Duval. But you must have been hearing things. Oh, I hear what I hear. And so I shall inform the police. A girl named Sailor Duval killed a man. That you, Slade? Guess again, Miss Duval. Give you a hand, it's not Slade. You want something, Mr. Calvert? Uh Uh-huh. I want to check out. There was no one at the desk, no one in Shannon's office, so I took the liberty. Oh, I'll get King to help you with your baggage. Oh, forget it. What's to help with? A tired cardboard box, a box of tortillas to eat on a journey, a briefcase? I'll manage. It's been so... Oh, that briefcase. What about it, Mr. Well? It's the one that Mr. Clokey had earlier this evening. The the one with all the... You know what you just did, Mr. Well? Just spoil my going away party. Get back in your room. So you can confess to me how you got the briefcase? Uh-uh. Just because I ask you with a gun in my hand. Who saw a briefcase? I must have been out of my mind. Don't be a heroine, Miss Duval. I can scar your pretty face. Just do what a departing guest asks. You won't like it. My room's a mess. It's... Get it. your stockings, Miss Duval. All you got. Huh? You want to mend them for me? You know, you're lucky. I could just kill you, but I feel warm towards you. I'll just tie you up so you won't keep me from going away like I want to. And this handkerchief in your mouth to keep you from screaming, like for help, like for police. Sailor! Sailor, are you in there? Sailor, what's the matter with you? Mm-hmm. That wasn't a civil answer. I'm coming in. Hey, your door's locked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Sailor. If anybody tells you you look good with a gag in your mouth, slug him. Mm-hmm. Kept you so long. I was spending a little time with your victim. Well, what are you talking about? I'll make out there's still a gag in your mouth. I've got to untie you so we can get out of here. Okay. What happened to you? A guest named Russ Calvert said to himself, Russ, tie up Sailor Duval. So he did, after I peeked at Mr. Clokey's briefcase. You're in a lot of trouble. Someone on the other side of Cuba and Guantanamo has been using your name and came around here and committed murder and left bits of you all around. Come on, out the window. That is her! That is the one! Stop her! Out to out to stop before I shoot up his gun! She is the one I saw leave with a smile after she stopped the senor. What's she talking about, Slate? She's saying you murdered Mr. Clokey. For which you will stick your hands in these cuffs. Uh, I'll do it, sailor. Slate. Do it. Gracias. If you please, senorita. She was just kidding. But you, you hit a policeman too unconscious. He's against the law. Come on, sailor. Let's go out the front. Guantanamo's closer that way. Our stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. Hey, taxi! Hey! The only trouble with these Guantanamo taxi sailors is that you can't get one. No wonder. The place is up to its yard arm with the American Navy. Taxi! Slate! What? No, I must be crazy. That man standing across the street. No, he's gone now. I couldn't see his face, but... Now, wait a minute. Taxi! Inside, sailor. Let's show you to the man who wanted to marry Sailor Duval. Maybe he can tell us a few secrets about her. <laughs> The man who owns 
this carnival supply place said I was going to marry him? Maybe you should take him up on it, sailor. You could have yourself a gay time. Put on a funny nose, a false beard, wear a buzzer in your hand. You could be happy with a man Welcome! Like that. Welcome to the shop of the funnies. Welcome to... You? A renege and the welcome is withdrawn. No, oh, don't be like that, Ricardo. I brought you your bride. Ricky! Doll, baby. They couldn't keep us apart, could they? Mm. You got the shapefulness of bubbles. You got the coiffure of bubbles. The mouth and the eyes of bubbles. But you are not bubbles. Uh, will you please to marry me? You can put them down now, sailor. Oh, buy him for me, Daddy. <laughs> you do that, senor. I will not be costly. I give you a discount. First we bargain, huh, Ricardo? Eh, whatever you like, but I promise you, for this girl, you can have me for practically nothing. Then this girl isn't the sailor Devala proposed to you. Eh, uh, leave me to observe her up and down once more. Front. Back. Mm. No. And she's not the one you gave a thousand dollars to buy a true sale in Havana? A thousand dollars? Hmm, will you marry me, Ricardo? Answer my question first, Ricardo. Oh, senor, how can you talk like this? This girl chiseled me out of a thousand dollars? It is to ha ha. This girl is an angel. Linda Hermosa. See, Slate, Ricky understands me. Hmm, sugar? But she looked like sailor here. Hey, if I close my eyes. You call her bubbles. Uh, all Guantanamo call her bubbles. Bubbles, sailor do well. Because when she danced oriental dance on platform, she make oriental bubble bath in brain of even admirals. And you're sure it wasn't me? Where bubbles dance? What platform, Ricardo? At amusement park for the sailors. <gasps> And that's where first her love hit me in the heart. That's where... Uh, bubbles. Now let's go, sailor. Can't you see Ricardo wants to be alone? The midway is practically deserted, sailor. No wonder. Look down there on that platform. Yeah. That's the main event. The ladies. And the Navy. Slate. What? Look. Look, Slate, across the midway, watching us in front of the Hall of Mirrors. Hey, hey, that's Russ Calvert, the boy who gagged you. I told you we were being followed. Let's go. He saw us, sailor. He's going into the Hall of Mirrors. The joint is dark. Come on, sailor. There he is. Russ! Where'd he go? Follow me, sailor. Which one is you? I'm the one who needs a haircut, the guy with the infectious grin. Stuck on the floor. Slate, where are you? Slate! Here, stay where you are. Sailor! Slate! Here I am. Sailor! Sailor! Who? Oh. You're shot. I'm not shot. I bumped into a mirror. Help me up. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, forget it. We're getting closer, sailor. Let's go join the ladies. Look at this, boys. Every little movement has a meaning just for you. Step closer, that's it. Step closer. Don't be bashful. How are the artists going to feel if you don't step closer? It doesn't mean you, Slate. You hear the man, it'll upset the artist if I don't come close. Hey, you, Barker. It reaches you, huh, friend? Get your tickets to the box office. Three dimes, the best part of the half. These girls have danced before the crowned heads of the continent, boys. Kings and emperors of games. I want to talk to you. Come down you here. Know. Hey, look, friend, all you got to do is buy a ticket. I can't do any more for you than that. Now, man, I tell you, these visions, these dancing dreams... Are you coming down, or do I go up and talk you into it? <laughs> Pardon me, boys. I got a roof here who wants to show us some muscle. Now, as I was saying, these gorgeous... Down, friend, beautiful. away from the matting crowd. Hey, let go of me. Down. All right, all right, you talk me into it. Don't go away, boys. Just feast your eyes. Man here's got a personal problem. Over here. Yeah. What eats your friend the 30 cents can't buy? You want a girl working for you, Bubbles, Bubbles Gail Deval. An artist. Where is she? Uh, you a plain clothes man, friend? Because if you are, I never knew an artist named Bubbles, so cut me to pieces, friend. I'm a chum. I brought her something from Havana. I didn't see her on the platform. Oh, why so... didn't you say so, friend, instead of puffing up your muscles? Bubbles retired from me. 
Living the domestic life in a little flat. Where? On Canal, 19 West Canal. Brought us something, huh? Let me look. Ah, it's between me and Bubbles. You understand, friend. Oh, Sailor. Sailor, now where is she? Oh, hey, Sailor. Get away from those sailors. Go away. Bubbles doesn't like us, Slate. I'm going to feel silly saying this. Open the door, Bubbles. You did that quite well. <laughs> All right, so you're selling what? Nothing, just want you to say hello to Sailor Duval. Oh, finally. You know, Slate, she does have my features. I'm glad they're on you. Mind if we come in, but... See, look, what kind of a name is Bubbles? Come on in. My name's Jean Hudson. You might as well know. The police are going to know. Uh, I've been waiting. You two had to get to me sooner or later. It's not that I'm difficult to get along with, Miss Hudson, but uh, why did you have to adopt my name? You and Slate Shannon, your names get bandied about in Cuba. So you took a little while to establish your name as Gail Duval to people who mattered. Said you were my agent. My hotel was for sale. I'm just telling you all this because... because I don't care anymore. You're going to scream cops after you hear me out, aren't you? The thing's got murder in it. The police have got to make a living, too. Well, it goes like this. Mr. Cloakey was the agent for a hotel buyer. Came to Havana with the money and Russ stabbed him. But the landlady said she saw me with Cloakey. Well, we told her what to say to the police. She's money hungry like me. Like everybody. What makes you so bitter, Jean? The man kissed my cheek and pinched the poke and walked out. Russ Calvert took a powder. With the 25000 26000 He absconded with my trousseau money, too. Let's you and me go in the corner and have a nice long chat about men. Can you imagine somebody stealing his fiancée's trousseau money? That's how Jean got it. That doesn't make any difference. A girl's got to get it where she can. Where'd Russ go? Oh, he's taking a boat out of Guantanamo tonight. Sails in about an hour. Two stops from here, sailor. The police, then we go see a man about taking a boat. <laughs> Port agent says there's only one boat leaving at nine tonight. And there it is, sailor. The Scarlet Crescent, bound for Singapore. A man can have himself a time in Singapore with $25,000. A girl, too. Hey, wait a minute. Don't worry. I was just dreaming. That old car that just pulled up. The guy who just got out of it. Russ Calvert. Let's go get him, sailor. Hey, wait for me. I got you running for the altar. He's seen us, Slade. He's running. There he goes, up that alley. Oh, that Russ is quite a track man. Come on. In the alley. My daddy told me there'd be nights like this. Huh. Now what? Now what what? Here's a cross alley. Which way'd he go? To the right or left? Or straight ahead? Russ seemed to me the type of man who would go straight ahead. Yeah, we'll take the left. He couldn't have come this way unless he oozed right through this wall. This is a blind alley. Yeah, he's not in those doorways either. I told you we should have gone straight ahead. Let's go back. Let's go to the boat and wait for him. No, he won't take the boat now. He's going to get out of Cuba another way. I guess that settles that, huh? Uh, I'll find him. Slate, look. That car coming toward us with his lights on. Russ's car. He circled back and got it. He's going to try to run us down. Quick, sailor, back into the blind alley. Just kill us in there. It's our only chance. Faster, sailor. There's no wall. There's no place to go. Here. This doorway. Jump. You all right, sailor? You all right? You did it again. You saved my life. Oh. Not me. You did. You take up jumping into doorways at Vassar, sailor? Depending on the guy I was dating. What about Russ? Well, let's find out. Uh, let's take a Derek to get him loose. The engine's in his lap. He's dead, isn't he? Well, don't say it like it's a tragedy. He tried to kill us. Slate, take me home. <laughs> Slate.
Slade. Uh-huh. I want to show you something. What? When I was leaving the Carnival Supply House, Ricardo pressed something into my hand. He didn't give me a thing. All the while, I had my eye on that squirting flower. Gee, you're lucky, sailor. Look what he gave me. A trick nose with a mustache. <laughs> Put it on. I figured you'd ask me that. All right. How do I look? <laughs> Come here. I'm funny, huh? That's right. Right here. Hmm, I like that. I knew you would. Tell me why. The mustache tickles. And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring... Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, together in Bold Venture.